Hi, Floppy Catters. This is a video of my Aunt Jean's two ragdoll cats, Hobbs and Maddie. They are the seal mitted ragdolls with blazes. They're the full grown adult cats in this video. And there's my Aunt Jean. Um, and then my cousin's kitten, Birch, who is a blue lynx bicolor. He's mismarked, so his bicolor isn't that perfect inverted B. My, my cousin, Mary, went out of town with her family um, a week after she brought Birch home. It wasn't really planned out for it to happen that way, but it did. So my Aunt Jean took Birch so that he could um, meet Maddie and Hobbs because in his lifetime he will be interacting with them. So it was a perfect opportunity for him to get used to them. He did incredibly well with the whole situation. Maddie, the one behind him right now, uh, was the one that, you know, fought the interaction the most because she just wasn't very keen on having a new friend. But my Aunt Jean, this guy, Hobbs, has such cool cats that there wasn't much of an introduction process because uh, they've been around so many different animals, so many different kids humans, etc. And my Aunt Jean thought that they would do really well with Birch. And as you can see here, they did. Maddie was less keen on Birch. You can see how she's not completely settled, but Hobbs didn't care at all. Birch is actually in Hobbs's bed. And those are the Netgoichi Cozy Cat Scratcher beds. If you're interested, I'll link to them in the about section of this video. So Hobbs and Maddie are 13. I think Hobbs is six months younger than Maddie, but they're both currently 13. So to be introduced to a new kitten at 13 and be this relaxed, like this is literally maybe 24 hours later, if that. They did such a good job. Look at Hobbies. I told my Aunt Jean as I was uh, taking this footage I said, there's gonna be somebody either on Facebook or YouTube that's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're letting him lay on your stovetop? Uh, I said, you know, it doesn't matter. Inevitably, something, someone will say something on one of my videos. Um, it doesn't matter how many things I think of or try to prevent from having to deal with. And she said, well, just tell him it's never used. <laughs> Um, which is funny because my Aunt Jean doesn't like to cook. So, um, so I said, okay, that's what I'll tell him. So there's hobby, 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 hobbies. That's what I call them um, laying on the, the stove top that's never used. Hobbies. I love my hobbies. Hobbies is such a cool cat. I've never met a cooler cat. Maybe my Aunt Nikki's Halston, who, who was the cat that my Aunt Nikki had when I was six years old was as cool. And Maddie is such a sweetheart of a cat. She's about nine pounds, um, tiny ragdoll, but she is a sweetheart of a cat. All these scratchings, hey Ed. This is, uh, literally the three of them were just hanging out on the counter and I came over to get video to publish on YouTube so that my Subscribers can see how they're interacting. In general, though, you do not want to introduce cats like this. Like, this is unbelievable that this went that well. Like, even hobbies letting him play with his tail like that. Less than 24 hours into the introduction, it's unbelievable. Birch is unbelievable, and Hobbs and Maddie were awesome. What you would, if, for example, if I was bringing a kitten home to Charlie and Trig, which I'm not, but if I was, I would do a very slow transition process where the kitten would be in a safe room for two weeks. I think Trig would be better with a kitten than Charlie, but I was wrong with Camus and Murphy, my parents' cats. I thought Camus would be better than Murphy, but it turned out that Murphy was better than Camus. So it just depends. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this video of Hobbs and Maddie meeting Birch for the first time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Tell me in the comments below how you've gone about introducing your resident cats to new kittens or dogs or 
family members. Thank you and we'll see you next time.